what is Model Context Protocol or MCP. MCP provides a standardized interface allowing AI models to seamlessly connect with various data sources and tools. So what exactly does it stand for? Before talking about MCP, let's talk about HTTP protocol, which you may already be familiar with. So what is HTTP protocol? HTTP protocol is the foundation of communication on the web. It allows web browsers and servers to exchange data such as loading web pages, downloading files and submitting forms. For example, when you load a website on your browser, it sends a HTTP request to the corresponding server and give the data back to the browser. Similarly, every page you click, it sends the HTTP request and gives the data. HTTP provides a universal language for browsers and servers to communicate. Imagine if one website used their own method to communicate client and server and another website used their own method to communicate with the client and server. If each website used their own method to communicate with client and server, then that will make more inconsistency and make a lot of issues. It will make web browsing inconvenient and chaotic. So that's why we use a common standard protocol that is HTTP, which is universally approved protocol. Now you understand the need of HTTP protocol. Nowadays, we are building a lot of AI applications and AI agents for different use cases. For that, we are using different large language models and tools. While building these AI applications, we should use a common protocol. MCP is a standardized way for an AI agent or AI application to communicate with the different tools. Let's imagine you are building an AI assistant that helps a business executive to prepare for meetings by gathering real-time information from multiple sources. Basically, you are building an AI agent where when you give a prompt to this agent like this, tell me about my next meetings and any updates about the client. Then. This agent should return your next meeting details with your client and other details of the client. So the result should look like this. So this is the architecture that you want to build. You are basically using a AI model, a LLM like GPT. Then you are using different other external APIs to gather the data. So here you are using different tools like calendar, CRM, stock market, web news, etc for collecting the relevant data. To build this, you have to write APIs to fetch the data from external tools. For example, to collect calendar data, you should call the calendar APIs. To get CRM data, you have to build and call CRM API. Similarly, you should build APIs for stock market and news from internet. Then you should combine these result and integrate with your LLM to get a proper result. Here the main challenge that you may face is to write the APIs to connect these tools and implementing with your LLM. This is not very flexible for future changes. If there is a new tool that you need to add later, then you have to work on that as well. Also, you have to maintain your APIs. That's why MCP service comes into the picture. If you implement this AI agent with MCP service, the architecture will be look like this. Here, rather than building APIs, we can add these tools to our LLM and gather the information from corresponding MCP service. For example, for collecting the calendar data, you can add a calendar tool to your LLM and get the data from the calendar MCP server. Similarly, you can add MCP service for CRM, stock prices and news. Now from the LLM, you can communicate to the different tools and get data from the MCP servers using the MCP protocol. For example, to get the calendar information, the LLM call may look like this and it get the information from that MCP server. So if a user asks, tell me about my next meeting and any updates about the client, AI agent will use these tools to collect the data. It use calendar MCP server for collecting your meeting information, CRM for client information and news MCP server for company's latest news. And finally, it will give a result that look like this. You can add multiple MCP servers according to your needs. So here MCP 
is the standard way of communication of LLM with different tools and all these tools use this same standard method. So rather than building your own way of communication of LLM with different tools, we can use this standard method. As you can see, all these tools are using the same MCP protocol. By using the same protocol, you can plug and play with different tools to your LLM. You can think like how the USB-C provides a standardized way to connect your devices to various peripherals and accessories. Just like that, MCP provides a standardized way to connect AI models to different data sources and tools. There is a lot of MCP servers are available in different categories that include different databases, automation, developer tools, calendar management, cloud storage and more. You can make use of these MCP servers and you can implement with your LLM. If you have installed cloud desktop app, then you can add a tool called Playwright, which is an MCP server. Using this tool, you can automate your web browser by adding the prompts to the cloud LLM. Similarly, you can add different tools and build your own AI system. I hope you understand MCP and MCP servers. So that's all about today's video. If you found this helpful, consider to subscribe and like the video. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video. Bye.